Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Thanks for joining us in the Sharks Fan TV. Thank you and welcome along to uh, the Lions vs. Sharks preview show, where we're going to be taking a look at the game that's coming ahead at Ellis Park, Lions vs. Sharks. So come along. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a few stats. Before the game, we're going to be taking a look at head to head. The starting 15, what the coach had to say, and then a few bits of uh, news that's going around in SA Rugby. So, taking a look at the stats, we're going to take a look at the form that both teams are going into this game. And we'll take a look at, first of all, uh, the Lions. Last nine games, last ten games actually, I'm just going to uh, check it out for you. Um, Lions played ten. They won two, drawn one, and lost seven. So that's not really a good form coming into this game. But I gotta say that uh, the last game against Peters, they won. So which is, which is good for them. The tries for that is scored is 19, and tries against is 31. So not a good defensive record, but when we look at ours also, it's not a good one. Uh, I'm just gonna touch on that when I show you the, um, uh, our form but the last six matches for the Lions going into this game they won four and lost uh, two uh, last two games which they won against Cheetahs and against Western Province um, our form compared to them uh, we the last ten games we played ten won seven we haven't drawn any games and we lost three one of them against uh, Bulls in the Super Rugby unlocked, which we've scored 30 tries and conceded 34 tries. So also not a good defensive record, but we know that um, what has gotten us mostly out of jail is the form of Bosch and his kicking. And I just want him to continue with that because uh, I think that's what SA Rugby is made of um, sometimes. This carry cup as well is, is hard considering many teams have most of their uh, super rugby players still playing in the carry cup. It's not like uh, previous years. So in the last six matches, we also have won four and lost two, um, winning the last two games which we played against Pumas and uh, Blue Bulls in the carry cup. So this is match day four, uh, but we've actually played two games coming into this our third game. Lions, this will be their fourth game. They lost the first game and won the last two games that they played. Um, Head to head, actually, there's a very interesting stat here that we've won actually nine of the last, uh, we've won the previous nine meetings that we played against Lions, both home and away. It didn't matter, we won against them. And going into this game, I feel very confident and very comfortable that we're going to come up with a good result. But I'm not underestimating Lions. Last time when we came, they uh, prevented us from scoring a try and we had to rely on our kicking game. The, the game we won 19-15 at uh, Kings Park. So going into Ellis, I'm sure that their defense are really going to be on top and we're going to really fight hard to win the game. Let's look at uh, our starting 15 because it's related to what the coach was saying. There's a few changes that he made here and there. Uh, especially in the front line, the, the pack. Um, our props will be Oxen Chair and Michael Kumbirai. Michael comes in for uh, Thomas Detroit, who also is a bit um, still struggling from injury. I'm going to give you the team news later on. <clears throat> Kieran Van Furian is our lock, is our hooker, sorry, and he finished the game against uh, the Bulls last game. And then our locks will be uh, JJ van der Mesh and Aston Fortune. Aston actually, it's his debut today and uh, actually not today, the game, <laughs> tomorrow or depending on when you, when you watch this video. Um, it's his debut in this game and uh, he's coming to fill in very um, heavy boots with Iron Andrew. Um, our flanks will be Dylan Richardson who actually was man of the match last game with the most carries and uh, most tackles won. And Hank Offenter. Our number eight is Kumbuzo Noche retains his place. Um, Sanelino Hamba comes back as scrummer after being uh, 
substituted in the previous game. Cohen Bosch, uh, Cohen Bosch retains his number 10. And then our blind and open side wings will be Yao and Bu. Mario Flo and uh, Lucanio Am will be our centers. I like the pairing of Mario Flo and Am. Um, our captain has been really uh, good, especially when he came back to our starting uh, 15. And I like for this partnership to continue because I think uh, they're going to form a really good partnership. Uh, remember the partnership of uh, Andrew Estrezen and uh, Lucanio Am. So I'm thinking Mario Flo is slowly filling in the, the boots of uh, Estrezen. Uh, he's still far, but I think uh, it's a good shout out for him. Then uh, we finish by uh, our fullback as Manny Lipok. He played really well last game, and I'd like for him to continue showing this kind of uh, form in this game. He's making it hard for when Farsi comes back. Uh, I want him to make it hard for him to come back and uh, just slot into the, into the team. That's how uh, it should be. So the team news is uh, Danny Yosta was. Uh, who started as Hook in uh, the previous game against Bulls and uh, Ruben van Heerden actually um, are out because of COVID protocols. Uh, Sean Everett had something to say about it. And also, um, Aaron Andrews um, is attending, is out attending a family bereavement. Um, so all our best uh, wishes and condolences go to him. And uh, we wish him uh, that everything goes smoothly and he can come back. Um, and uh, we support him as Sharks, as Sharks fans. Thomas Victoria is uh, struggling with a wrist injury. That's why uh, uh, Kumbirai comes in for him. So we have a bit of injury there with Thomas Victoria. Hoping he's not going to be out for long. And uh, the other three, uh, hopefully they'll be back in the team next week. Um, so Sean, this is what Sean Everett had to say about this. He's about the COVID-19, he said, I'm not sure if it is related to the Bulls game, and we will have to uh, and we will have to go back and trace who the players have been in contact with. Uh, it's so unfortunate I am unable to give answers on that at this point. End of quote. Uh, but then he says uh, again that, but while it's obvious it's a disruption. I think that the fact that the guys coming in to replace him, um, especially guys like the, uh, JJ Fadermesh, who has uh, had game time at lock and at uh, number seven for us recently, makes it look a bit smoother. It is exciting for young Aston Fortune to come in. We bought him here as backup for Hiron, so it's a great it's great for him to get an opportunity. We obviously know. The, what Kieran Fanturian is about as Hooker and Michael Kumbirai uh, did well when he played Thomas at tight end uh, later in the game uh, against Bulls. So um, Sean Everett there just talking about uh, the replacement that he's had to make. He's made uh, four changes so far in the starting 15 that started against uh, Bulls and he's picking up um, especially the debut Aston, uh, the debutant Aston that he said uh, it's a great opportunity for him to come and just show what it's all about. Um, guys, let me uh, let me know what you think about the starting 15. Let me know um, if you're satisfied. Who who should start? Who should not start? In your in your opinion. Um, before that, I'm just gonna um, um, talk about re uh, replacements here. Uh, we have first on Bata. Remember. Uh, two of our players are out with COVID-19. Um, so, Fezon Bata comes in from uh, the other 21. Uh, Mzamo Mazola, uh, John, Mayer, John Hubert Mayer, Tembalani Boli, I uh, think he's going to replace uh, Kumbuzo Noche. Last game he came, he really played well. He was pumping his feet and uh, he gave us our second try, actually, which was caught by Karen Van Furen. Um, uh, by the more, but it was his initiative that started that. Uh, then we have James Penter, Pepsi Butelezi, uh, Jaden Hendrickse, and uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Ward. Jeremy Ward was our captain before Lucanio Am, and I think uh, if there's any uh, chance that he gets in, he's, he's going to get in through the center. So, guys, that was our starting 15. Let me just give it to you again. Oxenche, Kieran Fanturian, 
Michael Kumbirai, JJ van der Mest, Aston Fortune on his debut, uh, Dylan Richardson, Enko Fenter, Kumbuzo Noche, Sanele Nohamba, Cohen Bosch, Yao Penkai, Marius Lo, Lucanio Am, Gunkosi, and uh, Manny Lipok. So let me know what you think about the starting 15. Um, please uh, comment in the video below, um, in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the game as well. And um, let's, let's hope for a win. Um, this one will push us. Remember, we are third in the log and uh, hoping that it's going to push us to, um, to the top. We need five points. We need a bonus point, bonus point uh, game to actually top the group in the Curry Cup. And uh, Curry Cup is our, this is our tournament. It's our cup. Last time we won it was 2018. Uh, but I'm hoping that we're gonna win it this this season. Um, so that was it, guys, for for the preview. I'm just gonna touch on a few news that is hitting uh, SA Rugby. Um, guys, I wanna hear your opinion of, about what happened to Apio Dianti. I know it's not a Shark player, but he's related. He was a Lions player, and he got banned for four years from all sporting events. Uh, due to doping, uh, the tribunal found him guilty this week and uh, they banned him for four years. A few is a young guy, he's like 23, 24, I think. Uh, he's, he's less than 25 years old, so it's a big blow for him and I'm sure a big blow for Lions. They are getting ready to have him, they are getting ready to. Um, he's a very good talent. If you watch this game against uh, New Zealand, the Springbok game, against New Zealand in Auckland uh, in the Super Rugby, uh, not Super Rugby, in the Rugby Championship 2018. He was the guy who lit up that uh, game and uh, it's a really big blow for, for SA Rugby. What a top talent. But guys, rules are rules, man. So I don't know about uh, what to say to that. So let me know uh, what you feel uh, in, the, in the comment section below about the, the ban to appear at the end. And then the last news is uh, uh, the Springbok has been drawn in a pool uh, for the Rugby World Cup 2023 against, uh, uh, in, in France, should I say. So I'm just gonna read the pool names uh, here for you. Uh, in South Africa, I've been in pool B. We've been uh, grouped against Ireland, Scotland, an Asia or Pacific team or and uh, European two uh, team. So Asia or Pacific, I'm hoping it's either uh, Fiji, Donga or Samoa. And uh, Europe two is either Romania, Spain, uh, those tier two in, in Europe. Could be even um, um, Russia, we don't know. So um, let's see, and um, I, will, I will post um, the rest of the group, uh, the rest of the groups, or the rest of the pools, uh, in the in the video below, and uh, comment, guys, and let me know what you guys think about the pools. Let me know what you think about the starting 15 against uh, Lions, or the game that's going to be played on Saturday. Uh, talk to me, guys, and let me know what you guys think about um, the games that are coming ahead. So. Thanks for watching guys, that was it. And uh, remember to keep it Sharks Fan TV. Please like, subscribe, subscribe and share this video. And uh, let me know guys what you think about this video. I'm gonna try and post another video after the game, the post match and uh, hear what you guys have to say about it. So um, keep it black and white guys, nothing else matters. Thanks for watching.